In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for SBF3. So the first thing we want to do when we do Lewis structures, count the valence electrons up. So antimony that has five valence electrons, it's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. So we have five valence electrons. Fluorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven, and we have those three fluorine atoms. So we have five plus 21, 26 total valence electrons for the SBF3 Lewis structure. We'll start by putting the least electronegative element in the center of the Lewis structure. That's going to be the antimony, Sb, and then we'll put the fluorine on the outside. Next, we'll put valence electrons between the atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond. So we'll put valence electrons between these here, and let's move this down some. And then we'll go around each of the fluorine atoms and complete the octets on the fluorine. So far, we've used 24 valence electrons. Each of the fluorine atoms, they have octets, so they're in good shape. But the antimony does not have an octet. We still have two valence electrons. We add these here. We've used 26 valence electrons. And now we have an octet here for the antimony. So this is the Lewis structure for SBF3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.